Hi, I'm Teresa from Phoenix Gate Crafts, and I am not going to podcast anymore. My podcasts haven't been doing very well. I mean, they're not doing badly, but they're not doing very well, and quite frankly, I'm not loving them. And I'm not making the kind of podcast that I would find interesting, so I'm giving that up. No hard feelings on any of that. It was worth a try, but ultimately not what I wanted to do. My last podcast was not a very bright and happy one. I've been going through a bit of a, some real life stuff lately. And I've decided to change what I'm doing a little bit. Not in terms of the other videos I'm doing, just kind of some of the more true to life things. I come to the realization that I don't like how large my stash has gotten and how much yarn I have that's from like 2018 or 2019. So it's getting pretty old. Older than I wish I would keep around. I'd like to purchase yarn and use yarn and I don't mind having a stash. I do enjoy shopping my stash, but I feel my stash has gotten, in terms of storage, a little out of control. And it, this is helped along by the fact that I've been watching a video from another YouTuber who is English. She compiled a six hour video that was just her vlogs about her stash busting journey. And she didn't do particularly well. I still haven't finished it. I am enjoying watching it while I stitch. But, well, she kept buying yarn. So it didn't quite stash bust nearly as much as she wanted to despite knitting a lot. But she kept buying yarn to finish projects. She uh, found a bunch of yarn she hadn't initially included in her initial count up of her stash. And although she was knitting a lot, knitting doesn't use up as much as crochet does. She also found herself in a conundrum where she decided to make a blanket and realized she only had about half the amount of yarn that she needed to complete the project to the size she wanted. So lots of mishaps and I was like watching it being judgmental because I am a judgmental bitch and I was like I think I can do better because I think the core problem this other YouTuber had by the way I am loving what she's making and her style and I'm going to be copying a lot of that method. Um, but I'm going to be making some changes for myself. But I think the core problem she really had is she is not a make-do type person. I call it Tetrising because when you're knitting or crocheting from stash, it very much is what do I have, what can I make from it. It's very much a what I have dictates the project. And she doesn't operate that way. She picks a project and then tries to get the yarn which when you're stash busting doesn't always work, especially if you don't have enough of something to make that project. So that made it very difficult for her and she kept being in, agony is not the right word, but she really never really liked what she made because she was always having to make do instead of doing it properly. And I don't think I'm going to have that problem because I'm very much a, what have I got? What do I need? Let's mesh these two together. Sometimes it starts with the yarn. Sometimes it starts with the project. And I have no problems with making do. It's just a different mentality. I think this will fit me very well in a way that she really struggled with. I highly recommend watching this six hour video of hers. I'm going to link it down in the description box. I really like the fact that most of it I can just listen to and have on while I'm stitching and I only look up periodically to see what she's talking about. So I'm going to do something like that. Now I am in a different starting position from her in the sense that I already reorganized my yarn back in January and I have made purchases since then and I have made stuff since then. I'm not going to go through and tally up everything I have. I feel that's going to be a little bit more difficult than I need it to be. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to tally up what I use and it's going to be an analysis of what I use. Now if I do purchase yarn, I'm going to 
subtract that from my use because the whole point is to use stuff up not purchase more i may have to purchase more because in september i am going to have a knit along and a crochet along and it's two projects that are going to use up quite a lot of yarn and i already have the crochet project all worked up in terms of the pattern I still need to do that for the knit project, so I need to make two knit projects and one more crochet projects because I have to film the videos. So I know I'm going to be using quite a lot of yarn, but I don't know if I have enough yarn for cohesive projects for this, so I might have to purchase more yarn for that. But everything else I'm planning fully from stash, and I'm going to count things I'm going to make from videos, I'm going to count things that I make for myself, I'm going to count things I make for uh, gifts, everything. If I'm not sure how much yarn I used, I'm going to weigh the project. And I am going to keep everything in grams. And I'm going to, when I count how many balls I'm going to use, I'm going to assume they're going to be 100 gram balls, which is 3.5 ounces. And if you want to convert to ounces, you are totally welcome. I'm not keeping track of yardage. I don't work that way anyway, so... I'm not going to change now, but I'm going to keep track of it. I'm going to uh, keep a monthly total and then I'm going to keep a grand total, a running total. There we go. And I'm going to do this for a year. So I'm going to start now. I have one week left in June as of recording this video and I'm really excited to start. So my July wrap up video at the end of the month is going to include this week of June because why not, I'm excited. I'm gonna give myself a helping hand. And I'm going to keep track, I'm going to add up everything I use and if I buy anything, I'm going to subtract that from everything I use. That way it's going to be a net use or a net purchase. Am I going to get my goal or am I going to go the wrong way? I'm hoping to meet my goal. I want to use about five 100 gram balls of yarn every month, which is about 500 grams every month. Now, you know I have a lot of big projects at the beginning of this endeavor. About four to six months in, I typically lose steam and there might be a few months where I don't make goal at all. I fully expect that to happen. That is very likely to happen around January, February, March. I think Christmas can get me through December. I think I, I'm going to, at the end, have three goals. I'm going to have an easy, a middle, and a hard goal. So my medium goal. That's going to be the 500 grams a month. I think it's totally attainable for knitting, crochet, Tunisian crochet, or macrame. I'm going to allow myself anything that uses yarn that I decide to do. My medium goal with that is going to be about 6,000 grams. That's about 60 balls of yarn over the course of the year, ending June 30th of 2025. So my easy goal should be half that. Let's say 3,000. That's 30 balls. Then my hard goal. I plan on, let's double that. Double 6,000, which is 12,000. That'll be... 120 100 gram balls of yarn and to make it extra fun for me i'm going to go on a shopping trip that's going to be my reward i will be able to purchase new yarn if i make my goals i'm going to let's say for my easy goal <clears throat> of 3,000 grams i'm going to go on a shopping spree and be able to spend 50 dollars which is one to two balls of yarn if I go to my favorite yarn shop, or if I go to say Knit Picks or something, it can be a few different balls. So that's pretty decent. My middle goal of 6,000 grams, uh, let's say I spend $100. That's not 100 plus the 50, it'll just be the 100. And for my 12,000 grams. You know, now that I think about it, 12,000 grams, I may or may not have that much. I don't know. Not counting it up. It's hard to tell. So if I do have it, 12,000 grams. If I don't have it, 
complete stash bust. Either of those. That'll be the super hard one. If I make the hard goal, I can spend $200 on New York. But that's not all. Because why would you want to watch me do this if you don't get anything? I mean, honestly, I hope you enjoy it. Um, I'm going to do a video tallying everything up at the end of the month, which should air in the new month. And because of my clear out in January, I have a bunch of yarn that I want to do for giveaways. So sprinkle throughout, I am going to be giving away yarn. It's different yarn every time. And it's not going to be every single month. I think I have about six-ish bags of yarn to give away. And I'm starting with this video. But if I make my goals, I will be doing a big giveaway at the end of the year. That's the plan. I'm going to do a big giveaway. Now, I don't know if it's going to be one big thing to give away or three smaller things to give away. But included will be yarn. It will be some tools or notions or little patterns as well. So I will have more details on that when I finish and we'll see where I'm at with my stash busting. But in between, let's start with this month's giveaway. Because yes, this month has a giveaway. The first thing given away, this will be one package. And one pattern. The package is for anybody in the continental United States. And the package includes four tiny mini skein balls of this. These balls are 75% wool and 25% polyamide, not machine washable, uh, size two yard. There are four of these. These are, I believe, 10 grams each. It will also include some Uru yarn, which was from Knit Crate. You get two balls of this. It is 82% merino wool, 18% Peruvian Pima cotton. It is super bulky and 109 yards for 100 grams, and you get two of them. So to enter, put a comment down below and tell me which goal or goals you think I can actually achieve by June 30th of 2025. My easy goal, my middle goal, or my hard goal. Be honest. If you don't think I can make any of them, be honest. If you think I can make all of them, well, thank you. I think that last one's going to be really, really hard. But Tell me what you think. And if you are not in the continental United States, let me know because you will get two of my patterns. I want everybody who wants to, to be able to participate. This will be hopefully fun. And I mean, I'll see you in the next video, but I hope to see you next month with an update on how much yarn I have used. So happy crafting. Bye.